Hi, I'm Corinne and uh, I have a company called Powder Butterfly and I was lucky enough to be selected to paint one of the Elmers for St Oswald's Great North Elmer Parade and this is Landmarks, the uh, Elmer that I created. I've been involved with St Oswald's for a little while now um, as I was one of the artists that was selected for the Snow Dogs Commission um, which was three years ago and uh, I reapplied to the, for the Great North Elmer Parade which was this year and I was lucky enough to be selected by them. Um, there were up to 50 artists that were selected and I know that they were inundated with applications so I felt very honoured to be part of the project again um, and it was really exciting to see who the other artists were as well. Um, and I was really encouraged this year because there were lots of local artists that were involved uh, with Snow Dogs prior to this. There were artists from all over the country that were involved but it was nice to see a lot of local artists involved in the project. Through my company Powder Butterfly, I design a series of landmark theme gifts and the most recent collection is abstract sections of landmarks. Newcastle is very close to my heart because I've been here for 21 years and that I came up here the year the Angel of the North was installed. So when I submitted this design, it was very much a case of drawing upon my design skills that I already had and creating something that would resonate with the local community and tourists as well that might come to the region. Um, so on the design you'll see different landmarks like the Millennium Bridge, you'll see the Angel of the North and down here you've got the Sage which is in Gateshead. Um, the Sage is also down there but it's just a kind of pattern version of it. Um, and this part of the elephant is actually the way that St James's building uh, kind of casts a shadow on the pitch. And St James has also asked me to um, create abstract sections of the building itself onto Alma and also their crest. Um, and using the black and white theme is very much something that I already do, so I knew that would resonate with football fans and locals as well. The big challenge when you're doing a project like this is when you first do the application, you submit it as a digital image, and actually translating that digital image onto a 3D surface is quite a challenge in itself. But what I had to do was prepare the surface of the Elmer. They come primed, but you have to uh, clean them, paint them, sand them, and then prepare them for the process of transferring your design. And it is very much a case of having almost like a digital map. So you have your Elmer, you know, prints out on the table, and then you literally just have to keep looking at them and transferring the design by hand. And I do have quite a lot of skills in terms of drawing and painting, even though I work predominantly digitally. So it was really great to be able to use those skills and not be staring at a com computer screen, which is what I do every day. And St James's had some changes that I needed to incorporate into the design as well. So they needed to be approved before I could go ahead, which meant that my time on Elmer was actually a little bit less than I would have hoped for. Um, it probably took me about a week to do the whole thing and when you finished actually hand drawing in pencil then you have to go over it with paint and there are also these pens that you can use that are specially designed for this kind of process to get that finer detail in. Um, and then the Alma gets inspected and once it gets approved then you can varnish it and the varnish that we use is an anti-graffiti uh, varnish um, it doesn't go yellow there's a number of reasons why they use it it's a quite expensive varnish but it makes all the difference because it really protects the artwork you've created especially when it's outside and um, people want to engage with it and to give you a bit of context when i did the snow dogs my snow dog was down by the quayside and I was told by a local when I had to go and repair it that about 10 men sat on it over the biggest stag weekend of the year so the, uh, the sculptures can be kind of uh, handled in quite a rough way a lot of love can be given to them but they also need to be protected 
from a lot of the engagement that the public might have with them. But the process of actually creating one is quite lengthy, but it's really enjoyable. One of the great reasons for being involved in a project like this as, as an artist is that you're really helping St Oswalds to raise essential funds and you also get to meet quite interesting people. I've met my sponsor, my original sponsor, which was St James's, but then I've also met the staff at True Potential, which is really great because you wouldn't ordinarily get to meet those people, but St Oswald's ended up raising over £180,000 for the charity as a result of this project.